Hello, and welcome to my game against Danovi. Its rating has somewhat decreased since we last played. Then again, so has mine, especially on my main account. It's getting harder and harder to keep around 2000 in this game. And I have having quite a trouble getting back to it with my current account. And this hand is not helping. I think I have no ace. Hmm. Okay. That's kind of tempting since I have socialist governments and he has no access to Italy. Will not get it in this turn, at least not from me. I think I'll go with the good old 4 3 3 this time. Let's see. <coughs> okay, so he's experimenting, experimenting a bit with strategies, and that is an interesting strategy, unless he has duck and cover. <coughs> To either steal France outright or coup well, Iran or Panama and protect town that way. Angola, okay, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. That's just evil. Let's see now. What can I do here? I can perhaps even shoot Damp Europe. to say really <clears throat> but yeah let's not risk getting dominated an alternative would be to coup Angola <coughs> it's very annoying to get this opening while I can't afford to just go to Malaysia, establish access to Thailand and generally have a weak hand like this. Okay, that's not necessarily the best. He didn't break out Angola, that means well, I have to coup. Not exactly what I was going for, but might just work. Unless he has this doll, in which case it might not. Okay. Also reasonable. Yeah, Asia. Probably just lost. Now, do I protect Panama? Can I either take Indonesia, but risk a coup in Panama? Yeah, he doesn't have any mill ups. I think I'll delay that. 
Now his only chance to get Milops is eventing a kind of wasted Korean War or Arab-Israeli War. Much more reasonable. But also a bit of a waste, if done now. A bit of a risk, to be more precise, since if, if it fails, I secure Algeria, take Lebanon, Indonesia, Egypt perhaps. <clears throat> Normally I might hesitate to remove his well. Okay, I want to say that I would hesitate to remove his mid-war region's influence due to death contracts, but since I'm the one with US Japan, that's not a problem. Okay. The dilemma is should I go for Angola? Yeah, let's do that. Which means Algeria, Angola, Lebanon, Could really use one more up to take Egypt as well. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, return access to Iran is always nice. <clears throat> Sadly, that means I probably won't have a strong IR6, or might I? Yeah, I need to consider that since I'm getting the China card and. Oh, okay. Unfortunate, but also means I have no doubts about my move. I need to make some mess in Asia. Access to Pakistan, access to India. Oh, okay, sorry, breaking Pakistan and access to India. And let's see. There are a few problem cards. No, car non, no cards that I will be especially troubled in case of losing it to vectors. So my headline is obvious here. Oh yeah. And let's see. Another poor ops. Since I don't have a single problem free tree up. Okay. Which means I'll be spending the China card. Hmm. I think. Then again, why bother? Nah, they'll need to protect Pakistan some more than absolutely necessary. Perhaps I'll just take Pakistan. Uh, 
I need to be careful with Romania abdication since if he has the stabilization, that would be an excellent source of free ops to spend in South America. first can't pay socialist government since he might have blockade and especially if he doesn't have the sanitation um, blockade is a certain play <coughs> which means I need to have a discard to it okay yeah that's rather reasonable I should have spaced it after all. Oh well. <laughs> okay, that means I probably should space. And again, it's a good hold card. No destinization. Mm -hmm. That does seem rather reasonable. Especially given my poor, to say the least, position in Europe. If I hold this hold Sosgov, I don't have to overprotect Italy. Hmm. That's a lot of ops. Only bright side is that it seems he did not get Asia scoring. Not still. That is a disgusting amount of ops. Uh, seriously, three, three, four. Okay, one, another four. And okay, a three. That's for sure. Probably not much in Europe. Okay, let's assume he might have the stabilization. And go for a general play in the area. Shh. 
shit. <coughs> I got it. Which will now probably bite me in the unmentionables. Okay, headline. Yeah, has to be the factors. <laughs> okay. That's one positive aspect of the situation. Still, I am yet to get a follow up, I think. Nope. Got one in turn one. No more, though. Yes, NATO. Mm, just might have worked. Okay. Seriously, using a four up for a coup in Nigeria? That's an overkill. Okay, just dump Asia. Unless he's going for Middle East as well. Can't say I have a risk free game considering that I am behind in Europe. Very much behind in Asia. There will be seven victory points down. Potentially behind in the Middle East since I failed to get Libya. No longer ahead in Africa, although I'll probably try to steal Zaire from him. Hmm. I have to potentially give him another two victory points from mm. Arab Israeli war. Since my space card is Fidel, my old card is. Come on, another one. Lose another war. Ooh. risky since I am potentially giving him access to South America which is my one and only stronghold but I feel like I need to take some uh, significant risk in order to get anything in this game one such risk could be playing fight your plan mm -hmm. 
for the event, but perhaps that would have been a bit too much. <clears throat> Final move would be setting up a domination in well, Central America and Africa, as well as protecting Angola from the annoying event. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Huh? Okay, South America. It's nice. Also, a possible headline. Although I am a little reluctant to do that, considering that my position there is a bit fragile after all. Another option is how I learned. Stops uh, him dumping CA. Yes, I think I only need to take this chance in order to protect Africa. Okay, <coughs> it wasn't very useful. It seems though, then again, I'll get my meal ups. Hmm. <clears throat> no, that's annoying. Okay, that is a discard. Okay, got lucky there. Cultural revolution means I'll be spending the China card, especially since blockade. Oh, oopsie! <laughs> That's a bit close, and means I'm kind of in a hurry in order to survive. <laughs> Okay, that was fun. Let's hope he doesn't have any more funny ideas up his sleeves. Okay. Just play the China card anyway. Which means okay if he does out, right? Good. After this development, and given Europe and Middle East being what they are, <coughs> I need to maximize every VP gain available. And I have 
just overprotected it. Yeah, that might not have been very smart. And again, I had to do it eventually. was sort of a disaster although I managed to survive it for a while how greedy Let's hope for a scoring. I want to say however as luck would have it I didn't get one. At least for Three very annoying cards, one of which I can space. So either I go for this card now, risking getting all these annoying scorings, or I get rid of Gunman. Not sure, really. No, playing Gamma might mean losing an Africa. Still, bears up it is, and let's see. Okay, that's not much. Naturally. play Lone Gunman or Ku Zyre because all the other options are effectively off the table the status of blockade before I decide. Still around, I see. Okay, let's risk it. <clears throat> I really hope I really hope that it has at least one of my scorings. Particularly the Africa scoring. And that he does not have. Oh, any of his scoring. <laughs> Scorings, really. <clears throat> I probably should overprotect Pakistan. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Okay. 
Kannst du mich hören? Come on. All right. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Nicely done. Nicely done my, by my opponent. But yeah, pr it's probably was losing anyway. Still, I should have take, taken care of this scoring issue and played. Uh, okay, mm, I'll ask for progress before, well, losing like this. I guess I'm a bit tired. So, uh, thank you for this. 